this video I'm going to attempt to go through the skeletal modeling tutorial with you. Uh, this is a complicated tutorial but I think it's helpful so I'm going to start off. I'm on the uh, open the sample model page of the tutorial and I'm on step two because my project is already set to tutorial file so I'm going to open the uh, skeletonbase.ipt and you can see when you open that just as it shows in the tutorial you get a, a jumbled uh, mass of work planes and sketches and work axes and so on and so forth and this is just a general um, frame that they have created for um, an assembly and we're going to take this and we're going to make it where it's customizable based on the size of the sphere in other words when the size of the sphere changes the frame that supports the sphere will also will, all the pieces will update based on the size of the sphere which is uh, fantastic so uh, the the first open the sample model page of the tutorial really just wants you to look at the uh, the model so we're going to follow along so I'm on step three right now so it says drag the end of part marker and drop it just below the strap surface node which I will do here and you can see that a lot of the uh, things went away um, on the ribbon click uh, view tab navigate panel and then uh, this is uh, this used to be view face in 2013 it's called look at but click that and then click on um, circ strap sketch and then you should see what's uh, was shown in the uh, in the tutorial um, and it points out some things in the tutorial that you need to look at <coughs> like the the surface profile for the <coughs> the, the strap sketch the strap surface and the the profile here okay um, so now it says drag the end of part marker um, below work plane bottom of frame, which we will do. <clears throat> and you can orbit around and look at the location of the three work planes um, that, that came up when we when we uh, moved the end of part marker. Um, drag the end of part marker below vertical leg sketch. And it says use the view face command to look at that. So let me, just click look at in the vertical leg sketch and then you can see that what we have there in the uh, in our browser is the same as what they have in the tutorial and it, it indicates some things that you should look at so you should do that and now it says drag the end of part marker down to the bottom and now we have the uh, full model if you click on home that'll get us back to the original uh, page okay now I'm on page two of the uh, or page three of the tutorial I guess it is is uh, create an assembly page of the tutorial um, we want to start an assembly based on the um, standard millimeter template so let me go to um, um, new and under the metric tab I will select standard millimeter uh, dot I, IAM template I'll double click on that <clears throat> So once in there, uh, on the ribbon, we're going to click the Assemble tab. Uh, on the Component panel, we'll select, select Create. And we're going to create a new component in place. We're going to call this Strap. And right now, this is set up on an inch part template. We don't want that. We want metric because the rest of this object is in metric. So we'll select Standard Millimeter IPT. And <clears throat> then we will select OK to create the part in place and now we want to expand the origin folder we want to define where the sketch needs to reside so I'm going to click on the uh, XY plane of the assembly origin okay and now you can see that we have a new strap new part that we created in place called strap um, so we need to go to the manage panel insert uh, manage tab insert panel derive and in the tutorial files folder, we want to open up the skeleton based IPT part. And the, uh, the strap part that we're about to create only requires uh, the circ strap sketch according to the tutorial. So we want to expand the sketches in the drive part dialog box. Uh, this is the drive part dialog box. Let's expand the sketches and we'll turn off everything but circ strap sketch. Okay. And it says you may receive a warning uh, that the base component is going to be modified. If you do, click OK. Uh, it says if the work geometry is in the hybrid state, which is half green, half gray, uh, make sure that it's excluded. 
I'll select OK to this, this error message here. Make sure that it's grayed out. Um, ensure that the icons next to surface bodies and parameters are also grayed out. So we'll take care of that. And <clears throat> let's see. So we'll click OK at this point and then click return. Okay, and now we have the sketch as they um, show in the tutorial. So on the uh, 3D model tab, we want to select, uh, go to the create panel. Oh, well, we need to actually get into the part. Um, double click on the part first. Uh, and now on the 3D model tab, go to uh, the create panel and we want to uh, select revolve. And then we can go down here and select the interior of that rectangular object. And now we want to select our axis. And we'll select that axis right there. And then OK. And you can see that we have the, um, uh, the part that's shown in the tutorial. So we'll, um, and let's see. And now if you want to just click return, uh, we can go back to the assembly level. Uh, I did that. There's no return here on the 3D model panel, but if you go to inspect or tools or I think manage, all these have a return where you can return to the assembly level. So it tells us at this point to save uh, this as skeleton.iam and it will append the correct uh, suffix uh, file extension uh, to that name. So click save. And yes to all, and then okay.